Okay, um, hello. Uh, there's a very couple of people ask what kind of stretches I do um, for myself, you know, for my own training, um, to help keep me uh, sort of in shape. Um, never been the most flexible man in the world, however, my uh, I have found that the stretching that I do do does minimise injuries. You know, if you train a lot and you're, uh, you're doing a lot of sort of like um, hardcore physical exercise on the body, um, it is very important to uh, to have a good stretch. And uh, my philosophy is, you know, obviously stretching can be time consuming. You do it for 30 seconds if you can, uh, if not, minimum 10 seconds. However, if by any chance you can't do it for 10 seconds, then some stretching is better than nothing. Okay, even if you just do a few seconds on each stretch, uh, you know, that's better than nothing. However, Ideally, 10 seconds minimum, if you can, if you do have time, then 30 seconds on each is uh, is definitely definitely a good way to go. Brilliant. Okay, so we'll get started. Uh, by the way, I apologise. This is a bit of a small area, so if parts of my body are cut off from the side of the camera, uh, I do apologise for that. However, you should still be able to get a good view of everything. Okay, or of uh, everything that you need to, to have a view of anyway. All right, so first of all, in fact, some of these, <laughs> as I can see, I'm headless at the moment. Uh, so from here, the first one is just to stretch your shoulders so out there. And what I'll do is I'll do each of these stretches for, you know, just for a few seconds, just to keep the video nice and short. Uh, and then you guys obviously can do it for whatever time uh, that you want to. All right. Okay, so from here, arm out. In fact, I'll do this one on my knees. Obviously, I'll do this one standing up, but I'll do it on my knees just for the camera. So I'm here. Uh, I pull in, and then I hook around my arm, just like so, pull that in, just like so, and that stretches the shoulder. So I'm here, I'm going to count five, four, three, two, one. Nicely done, and I'll do the other one. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant, okay. From here, the next one, I put my arm up, down the back of my body. Now from here, what I'm going to do is get... Uh, make sure that's going to be right down the center of my back so right below my neck i'm going to grab hold of my elbow pull it down obviously i'd be standing up when i did this as so i'm here pull down and then lean to the opposite side you'll feel a nice stretch on your tricep muscle uh, and also uh, the side of your torso all the muscles up here your obliques your lats and so on very very good stretch so just a few seconds on that one same on the other side Very nicely done. Okay, now this one, uh, I'm going to try and let's have a look. It's uh, a little bit more, so I'll move it over here so that you can. So I've got a bit more space. This one uh, is a really good one for stretching your hips. So from here, what you do is you literally put both your hands on your hips to start off with, point up to the ceiling, lean to that side. The same leg of the arm that's pointing up, you're going to put behind the other one. And then stretch. Keep your weight on your front leg and you'll feel a nice stretch just, just there. I like to call this one the Travolta stretch. Uh, you can probably see why. So hold that for a few seconds and then do the same. The other side. It's a really nice one. This really alleviates a lot of the tension in your hips. Just like so. Beautiful. Okay, from here, next one. Uh, it's in fact, I'll keep the camera there just for these next few stretches because obviously you get a bit of a better view. Uh, what I like to do is put my chin to my chest, one hand on top of the other, and then just straight out there. It just gives a, the top of the back a nice little stretch, just like so. Okay, a few seconds, five, four, three, two, one, nicely done. And straight up, so exactly the same, come to my knees, so you can see, straight up, just like so. Okay, hold that one, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, this next one, I'm going to go to the side a little bit, it's what's called uh, the crucifix, uh, although I don't know if it's officially called that, but that's what I call it anyway. So I'm here, out there like that, and bend your, your hands back as well, because it gives your wrists a bit of a stretch. Also it'll give your uh, elbow, your muscles here a little bit of a stretch, and also your pectoral area a bit of a stretch as well. Hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Like I say um, before, ideally minimum 10 seconds, ideally at the complete Best case scenario, 30 seconds. Next one, put my hands behind, just like so. Again, I do all these standing up, um, and then push down and out. It gives you, it basically supplements the stretch you've just done, gives your pecs uh, a good stretch. So you're pushing down and outwards at the same time. You'll feel a nice stretch right down your pecs. Perfect, okay. 
Next up uh, is the good old touching your toes. So what I'll do is I'll stand there, I'll reach up now, just above where you can't see on the camera, my palms are facing inwards. Okay, I'm having a good stretch. You will leave this for a few seconds as well. Okay, then take a deep breath in as you breathe out, reach down and touch your toes. So breathe in, then out, all the way down, reach down and touch your toes. As you can see, my flexibility is a huge weak point of mine. However, it's a lot better than it was uh, a few years ago. I used to do a lot of weight training when I was younger uh, and never stretched. Uh, lack of education on how important stretching was really uh, therefore I uh, end up stiff as a board but believe it or not a few years ago I was, I was literally up here so to come down there uh, is definitely massive progress okay so down there hold that for, with this stretch leave it for a few uh, try and get it for minimum 15-20 seconds again ideally 30 but leave this one for a bit more uh, to supplement that one once you've done that just put your legs you saw your hands just above your knees straighten your back Push your chest forward and down at the same time. So we'll increase the stretch slightly on the backs of your legs and your hamstrings. Uh, hold it there. It's also good for your calves. And just hold it there again. A little bit more. Uh, so sort of 15 seconds if you can. I did it 30. Sorry to keep repeating myself. <laughs> okay, so down there. A few seconds. Very nicely done. Okay, next up, um, I'm going to do the glutes. Glutes, very, very important. Very big muscle. Now this definitely... Uh, minimum 20 really, these are big muscles so they need a good stretch. So if I'll do it sideways for you, so from here and I'll let it back. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one leg, put it behind my thigh, just like so. Drag that one in, reach through the hole, grab hold of the shin and pull in. You'll feel a nice stretch just on your glute muscle there. Okay, usually I count down this. For a good way that I do it, especially if, I've, if I'm in front of a class or um, training uh, my family as I sometimes do. Uh, I'll ask them to count down from like 35, 40, something like that. It works out around about uh, 30 seconds. Uh, you can guarantee it gets gets a good stretch. Okay, that's nice. That's done from there. Obviously, do the same on the other side. Drag it in just like so. Hold it there for a few seconds. Okay, just for the camera. Excellent. Okay, from here, uh, another one which stretches the outer glutes. Okay, so you get put one leg right out in front of you, so, so grab hold of one, drag it towards the opposite shoulder, just like so, so opposite shoulder. I see them. Yeah, it's beautiful, you'll feel a nice stretch just on your yeah, outer glutes, right around your hip area, just there. Beautiful. Hold that for a few seconds. Again, if you can, try and hold that for a uh, minimum 15 20 seconds, really. Uh, same the other one, just like so, towards the opposite shoulder. Keeping that leg straight out in front of you. Very nicely done. Okay. Excellent. Okay, another one for you. Obviously your glutes. Uh, sorry, not your glutes. Sorry, your quads. This is uh, very important. Uh, from here, lie on your back. Uh, put your knee on top of each other. Okay, and then try and reach your heel towards your backside. Okay, just like so. Uh, so literally my heel's on my backside now. Very good stretch for your, for your quads. Hold it there. Okay, I'll just show you now that I've got the other side, you can see it from the other side. Okay, just like so. Okay, put one there. Beautiful. Uh, okay. Nice. Put that if you can. Try and get your body straight as well. Beautiful. Obviously, I'm a bit cramped in this, uh, in this small kitchen. Nice to go. Okay. Again, mobility is very important of your, of, your, of your joints. So again, what I like to do while I'm down here, Get on my ankle, just give it a little, so your mind clicks sometimes. Uh, and then the other way, very nicely done. Just a few, the other one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess six is ideal. Uh, just like so, okay. Calves, very important to do calves, you need a wall, or you don't even need a wall, sometimes you can do it without. Uh, put one leg behind the other one, make sure the back leg, the heel is touching the floor, or the one in front, and just gently lean forwards. Just like so, and you'll really feel a really nice stretch in your calf just there. Again, uh, hold that for uh, whatever time you've got. It's absolutely fine. Um, then swap over, do the same with the other calf. Hold it there. Uh, excellent. Okay, now, uh, also it's good to uh, to stretch the abductor muscles, the inner thigh muscles, uh, the muscles around you. Easy. My apologies for that. Okay, uh, let me just pop that round there. My apologies if all of a sudden that is upside down. I really hope it's not. Okay, so from here, put 
put that right against there, just like so. Beautiful, okay. So from here what I do is I'll widen my legs till I feel a nice, gentle stretch. Okay, once I feel a gentle stretch, keeping both your toes pointing forward, very, very important. Bend one leg and keep one leg straight, just like so. Hold it there again for, for a good few seconds. And then you can just do the same on the other side, just like so. Yeah. Excellent. And then back to the middle. From here, I would also like to do is go onto, into, onto your heel, pull down like so, and then reach towards your heel. This is really good for your hamstrings, phenomenal one for your hamstrings. Hold it there, a few seconds. Beautiful, and then do the same, the other one. Again, as you get older, flexibility becomes even more important, so it's very important you stretch. This is a really good stretch. If you can't do it every workout, try and do it like two, a couple of times a week, two, three times a week. It's better than nothing, I must say. And it will help you massively. It's helped me massively. Like I said, I was the most unflexible person on earth a few years ago, whereas now, at least I can, uh, uh, I'm pretty flexible, obviously. Touching my toes is still something I need to work on, but in other areas, I'm, uh, I'm very happy with my flexibility as a result of, of this type of training. Fantastic, okay, back to the middle. Yeah. Okay, widen it nice and high. Now pick, ideally this, obviously you can't see my head, but what I'm doing is I'm, I'm picking a spot in front of me just above eye level, and I'm keeping my eyes fixed on that spot. Keeping my back straight, as I do that, I'll move my head down, and eventually I'll feel a nice stretch right down uh, the back of your legs again, supplementing the stretches you've just done. Very, very good. Hold that for a good few seconds. Uh, very nicely done. Okay, next one. Uh, what I like to do is put my hands on the ground, put my knees on the ground, hips towards the ground and push up. And what I'm doing now is I'm looking towards the ceiling. This is stretching my abs, my hips and my lower back. Okay, really giving everything a nice, uh, a nice stretch. It feels really nice, this one. Okay, hold that for a few seconds. Another one for the quads is bring your knees a little bit together behind, sit in between knees, put your hands behind you and push your hips up towards the ceiling. You feel again a really nice stretch just on the quads, just like so. Hold uh, for a few seconds, just like so. Okay, from here, uh, up onto the balls of your feet, push your back. Yeah, this is what I like to do. I push my elbows back and lean forward. Um, just like so. Okay, if you want to balance, that's really good as well because obviously it's good for your uh, for your static training, static strength. Um, so I'll show you from the side just to show you what I mean by that. Okay, from here, there, you can just balance, just like so. Hold that for a few seconds. Nicely done. Okay, from there, what I like to do is stand up, feet together again, back to mobility, looking after your joints. Hands on your knees, legs slightly bent, just round. Again, ideal number, just six times round, and then the other way, just like so. Nice big controlled circles, so very, very good for your knees. Okay, for the hips, uh, in fact what I'll do is I'll, um, for these last few, I'll pop the camera back over there. Okay, just so that uh, you guys have a bit more of a, a good view of everything. So I'm here, put my hands on the hips. Uh, look towards the ceiling, push my hips forward, and look as far back as I can. This really stretches the hip flexors around here. Uh, very nice stretch. Hold it there. A few seconds. Beautiful. Okay, from here, nice big rotations as you can. Again, nice and controlled. Just around about six times. We'll do nicely. And then the other way, just like so. Perfect. Okay, and again, there's something I do quite a lot of, it's called uh, dynamic stretches as well, so I'll just go to the side just so you can see. Um, this is part of a set of dynamic stretches I do, uh, but I just add a couple into this stretch as well because uh, so they are very beneficial. So from here, one, two, three, I'll just do a few. Just a few. The trick is with these dynamic stretches is not to yank them, just do it nice and gently, just let them flow so you feel a nice gentle stretch at the end of each one. Okay, that's one that I do. Put your arms up there so they're nice and level and just twist into it. Just like so. Okay, we'll do a few. So as you can see from the stretch, every part of the body has had a stretch. Every major muscle has been taken care of. And it really contributes 
to uh, the general alignment of your whole body, which obviously helps you perform better and also keeps your muscles in good shape, especially as you get older, because obviously I'm, I'm 36 now, you know, my younger years, uh, also say uh, top form years with regards to physical exercise are probably behind me, but I'm not going to let that stop me uh, pushing myself to my very limits and seeing exactly what I can achieve uh, with my physical fitness uh, and my physical body. Uh, excellent, so that's, uh, all that's again, arms, looking after the shoulders, just like so. And the other way. And finally, just for the neck. Uh, sometimes I'll throw in a couple of these, although I don't tend to do these that much, that often, just nice and gently. Uh, and also look towards one side, follow it around to the other side. Okay, they are ones that you can do. However, the most effective way to look after your neck, I've found, uh, after much trial and error, is literally pulling your hand down, either in front of you, I tend to go behind, because you know, I, I believe it's... Uh, you feel a more effective stretch, but people have told me that uh, they feel it more from the front. So I guess it's different for different people. So whichever uh, you feel most comfortable or whichever you feel is the most effective, feel free just to go with that one. Personally, I put my hand behind. Now, the same way that I'm pulling, which is obviously to my right, I'm going to lean my head the same way. Now, I'm going to try and get my head so it's exactly in line with my shoulder. And what I'll do there is I'll, find, I'll feel a nice stretch right down the side of my neck. Just there. Okay, holding it there. Beautiful. So I'm going to the other way. Nicely done. So that's a few seconds. Spot on. And you shake off. Like I said, looking after your neck is very, very important because obviously if you train martial arts regularly or anything like that, you do a lot of clinch work or you do BJJ and, uh, you know, sometimes you have attempted chokes on you and stuff or actual successful chokes put on you and stuff. You do, you do need to, uh, to look after your neck, make sure it's strong, robust uh, and flexible, guys. Okay, like I said, the reason I made this video, I've had a couple of requests uh, to ask uh, what kind of stretches I do for, for my own training. And so I hope this has been uh, helpful. Thanks very much, guys. Uh, and uh, good luck with your training.